And as we moved on through our Saturday morning, we've seen quite a bit of sunshine, a little bit of high cloud and a streaming on by. Temperatures started off cold this morning, but we're seeing a nice rebound as the temperatures now warming into the 40s. Here's a live look from Jinx Middle School looking off to the north, Cityplex Towers. You notice some of that high cloudiness continuing to stream on in from the west and northwest. We're going to see more of that as we move on through the day. But even though we will see that high cloudiness strolling on in, we're not going to see any rainfall out there for today. So definitely good news if you have any outdoor plans. Maybe you want to get more of that Christmas shopping finished up for today. We're not going to deal with any rainfall for today. Now later on tonight, we do have a cold front out to our west. It's a weak cold front that's going to move into northeast Oklahoma late tonight and tomorrow morning. And really all it's going to do is shift the winds around to the northwest for tomorrow. But we could see a sprinkler, maybe an isolated shower, especially north of the Tulsa area up near the Kansas line into southeast Kansas. So if you live around Coffeyville, Independence, down to Bartlesville, about a 20% chance of a sprinkle, maybe an isolated shower here in Tulsa, 10% chance of a sprinkle as that front moves on through. But in advance of the front, we're seeing some of that high cloudiness working its way in from the west. So we'll see more of that as we move on through the day today. We started off chilly this morning, 28 degrees in Okmulgee for the morning low, 27 Bartlesville, 32 in Muskogee and Stigler, 31 this morning in McAllister. So it was a cold start, but with that sunshine and the south winds pushing temperatures now into the 40s in many locations, 41 officially here in the city, already up to 45 in Pryor and Tahlequah, 43 in Stigler 43 this morning in McAllister. Temperatures out to the west, generally upper 30s and lower 40s. As we take a look at temperatures right here in the Tulsa metro, again, running lower 40s out there. So it's cool, but we are warming nicely. So you'll still need a coat, maybe a heavy jacket out there this morning with those winds dropping wind chills still in the 30s at this time. Midtown Cam, lots of sunshine ongoing out there. So traffic moving along nicely. No problems at all with the dry roadways. 41 degrees officially south and southeast winds currently at 8 miles per hour. So we are starting off cool, but these temperatures are warming nicely. And we are looking at some wind gusts out to the west of us. These are some of the current wind speeds. You notice here in eastern Oklahoma, generally in that 5 to 10 mile per hour range with a few higher gusts up around 15. You notice out to the west, these are sustained winds of 10 to 15 miles per hour, so a little bit stronger out to our west, and I expect our winds to pick up a little bit more as we move on through the day, more in that 10 to 15 mile per hour range with some gusts at or above 20. In fact, we're already seeing some gusts over 20 miles per hour right now in Ponca City, south gust at 22 miles per hour. You notice Chickasha, also in Watonga, we're seeing south winds of 21. So we will see some of those gusty conditions as we move on through the late morning and afternoon hours, 10 to 15 with some gusts over 20. Now, temperature-wise, most of the country dealing with some chilly temperatures out there. You know, was 24 in Salt Lake City, 46 in Phoenix, so most of the west dealing with some cool temperatures. As you move into the center parts of the country, 34 in Pierre, we're 41 here in the city, only 45 right now in Austin, so cool temperatures across the center part of the country. The Great Lakes into the New England states, temperatures in the 30s, not bitterly cold, but we are seeing some cool temperatures in the warmest of the readings in far southeast parts of the country. You have to go down to Florida to find the 50s and 60s this morning. Future track, we're going to see a lot of sunshine around for today, but some of that high cloudiness will continue to filter on through throughout the day today, and we'll see those south winds a little bit breezy. Overnight tonight, we'll see partly cloudy skies develop in advance of the cold front, and we'll see a few sprinkles, maybe an isolated shower again, especially along the Oklahoma-Kansas line into southeastern Kansas. If you live south of Tulsa, the chance of a sprinkle or shower less than 10%. So most areas of green country will not see any rainfall overnight into the morning hours. And then the front itself moves through during the morning hours. As it slides on through, we'll still see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies even behind the front. A northwesterly breeze up around 10 miles per hour, and that's going to bring in slightly cooler temperatures for tomorrow, but only about 2 or 3 degrees cooler than what we expect for today. Still above average as we move on into our Sunday. Here's a look at your high temperatures for today. 58 in Grove, about 56 degrees in Coffeyville, 56 over in Pawnee, 58 in Skytook. South winds 10 to 15 with a few higher gusts, so it will make it feel a little bit cooler than these actual temperatures. 58 in Wagner, 57 degrees in Shakota, and 58 in Salisaw. Southeast Oklahoma, generally in the upper 50s, around 58 in McAllister, 58 degrees Wilburton, and also in Eufaula. How about the next seven days? Well, if you like the mild weather, you're going to love this forecast. 39 for tonight, slight chance of a sprinkle, no big deal. We'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. 56, a northwest wind around 10. Then we'll start off Monday morning chilly at 33 degrees, but up to 60 in sunshine on Monday. And each and every day, Nathan, we're going to see those morning lows warmer, afternoon highs inching on up to the mid 60s. So what a stretch of days we have right here in December. Normally we're talking about some cold weather, but the next six or seven days picture perfect across. Well, our area. It certainly beats last week and it was rainy, nasty. I'm sure a lot of people will be out at the mall today. Yeah, I think a lot of folks are going to be out there shopping and it's just going to be a lot easier with the great weather out there. All right. Thanks. Taff. You got it. Chances.